Hey, Mike here. So someone asked me on some of the Narbox 2.0 videos to show exactly how or if it works with the iOS 13. So I have the latest iOS beta. And uh, from my testing, I couldn't test it on my iPad because I didn't want to install iOS 13 beta. But here I am on my iPhone 10. And uh, the support said that while I won't be able to connect to it through the two apps because they're not available yet, uh, I can use the files app. So this is the built in files app of iOS. Here's what happens. So I have it wirelessly connected, of course, to my Narbox. And when I click on the Narbox, uh, it just stays loading. So maybe it was working on an earlier version of iOS 13. Uh, but I I do have or maybe it's it's running on a later version. Regardless, I don't think it's ready yet. So if you are planning on using this with a iOS device that you are running beta on, I wouldn't count on it. When you are an early adopter, this is kind of what happens. So in this case, I'm an early adopter of both of these things, uh, the Nonbox 2 and of course the iOS, which is something that I do pretty much most of my life anyway, you're gonna run some issues. So just be aware, right now it is not working. Um, I would have loved to be able to transfer my files from my iPad and my iPhone directly to our box. Not there yet. So hold off on that for a little while. I have a few presets in here for different devices that I had like to use just to segregate it and also to uh, set up basically what folder and what date. And there's really just a couple right now that you can you can do. All right, so I'm gonna do another one. And this one will be uh, for my X3000. So uh, I'm gonna have a folder import that will be for my Sony X3000 unit. So I'm going to add that. So that's that's basically the folder name. Plus, uh, underneath the X3000 folder, I'm going to have one dynamic setup here. And that's going to be uh, the actual file date of what was modified. And then I'm just going to click on Next. And now that's going to be a preset under Advanced. So I basically, when I do something like that, I like to just call the preset. Uh, whatever the device that I'm doing. So X3000, there it is. So now whenever I would go do a backup, uh, whether I choose to do it, uh, basically, I just do the backup directly from the uh, the units menu, because it's, it's pretty quick and intuitive. All right. So that's, that's a quick view on, on safe keep. And now I'm going to choose selects and show with you. Okay, great. Perfect. See, it wasn't working uh, like that for a little while. Not sure whether it was my phone. Hey, iOS 13, really, really kind of buggy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back into that same folder now. And this is this is what the selects. So what you do is you basically, I believe you select all the things that you want to call. So I do that. And then you're going to open it in a workspace. Okay, in this workspace, now you can look at all these. And this is this is on the iOS. Uh, as you can see, there's a way to tag. And then there's also a way to um, to rate it. So if it's a, it's a photo, obviously, that you are going to like, or you like, then you give it a five star, and so on. So you, you can rate it that way. And then, and then if you click on a tag, you can get add some keywords. So this is the Ronin SC and then I can I can then add keywords. So this this could be very useful. I wish there was kind of like a tag library that we can choose from or some templates, but you know, maybe that's coming later. I'm sure it's coming later because I'm I can't be the only one thinking that this is something that needs to be done. So for instance, if I'm doing a group of them, I would really like to be able to just say, hey, let's just go ahead and add a group of these keywords uh, to the um, to to the photo, right? So this is the second one. Let's say hypothetically, I didn't like this one as much. I'm going to give it three stars. Whatever star system you use, it doesn't have to be what what I think. I would like to be able to have some sort of template or some sort of recently used thing because now on this one, now I got to add the same thing again if I if it's in fact the same thing. So I just wanted to say DJI, and then this is the Ronin, 
SC, uh, click Add, and done. Boom. So what's great is now, uh, now that I have this, so that's going back and this is going forward. Now that I have this in here, when I import it to, or when I edit it, import it, let's say Lightroom or anything else, uh, or DXO, which I also like to use, it's gonna have these tags already waiting for me. But it's just really great because if you're on the go, you're waiting for somewhere, you're gonna be staring at your phone anyway, why not be productive? So this allows you to be productive and actually pick out some shots that you like. Or uh, in my case, if I have a client or uh, whoever, who I want them to go ahead and say, hey, pick out your favorite ones, you can go ahead and do that. So yeah, this, this is fantastic. And of course, this is based with a partnership with Photo Mechanic. And I love Photo Mechanic. So really, really pumped about this. All right, let's just say this is only three star. And then now I add the keywords. Uh, this was the um, Oculus Rift. Yes. All right. All right. So you get the idea. That's the keyword thing. Okay. Great. All right. So that's it. I mean, it, it saves it. You see that it's tagged. Um, and then, you know, when you're done, there's an obvious button right there that, is, that says save all. And then you apply it to all the existing ones or you, or you or apply it to duplicate files in the same location. All right. Apply to existing. Let's say for this select workspace, I do that. I select those. I chose keyword function. You can batch add keywords. So they did figure that part out. I just wish they had the templates. So I'm going to do, I'm going to just add the Ronin. No, it's not the Ronin. This is the uh, Rift S. So these are all the Ronin at Rift S. You can add it, done. Boom. Pending meta actions, these are all the ones that I selected are the Rift S. And I click on done, and I can click on save all. And so you can apply to existing files or apply to duplicate files in a new location. Now I'm gonna to apply to existing. There you go. So that's one way you can kind of get around not having these little templates to choose from. So if you can see, if I go back into the quest, jump into a different photo, it's now batched tagged Rift S. Okay, so that part is pretty cool. So that, that works. Now let's try another function. Okay, let's do these two. Let's say, look, I like all of these. Batch export. I'm going to play, do apply all five, add all these keywords on there. Let's just add DJI to all the keywords. I wonder if it will, done. Okay. Now, if I do that, click on done, save all, apply to existing. I wonder if it overwrites my previous one. I hope it didn't. Let's find out. DJI Ronin SC, no, it didn't overwrite, which is good. That's, that's good, good. And it didn't, that's good, good, good. So far, so good. Okay, good. So that's how you get around that, not having the templates. You can batch select and add those on there. Uh, obviously, uh, by the partnership with Photo Mechanic, Photo Mechanic knows what they're doing. Just ask any pro that uses Photo Mechanic. So this is a really great thing. Really pumped about that. So that's the workflow on the, um, the, the iOS. On the iPad, it's the same thing. You don't have any other extra features that I could tell. So you don't miss out on any of those things. And uh, that's, that's one great way to do the photo calling. Now, looking through here, I was looking for a way to manage and delete files, but I don't think you can. It's probably for the best. Yeah, probably for the best. There's no, I can't double tap. There's no force touch. Force touch would have been cool, but that's something that Android users won't have. I can't just go, okay, I'm pretty sure I don't like this one. Let's just delete it from here to save some space on the unit. So I can't do that, but I can, I can give it a star rating. 
And then, uh, then when I go back into it, I, c- I could apply it. And then, you know, then I can go ahead and go, okay, well, let's go ahead and delete all the one stars or delete anything with any of these tags. I just tag it and click delete. So I wish there were, there was a template that we can go ahead and save that the, then you can quickly apply that would make workflow a little bit quicker overall, or at least some sort of recent tag, like something that was tagged recently. And for instance, this is not a good one. Uh, this is for my review of the AirPods. See, I'm, I'm just not really happy with that with that photo. There's no quick way to just go ahead and hey, let's go ahead and delete this. It's it's for your I it I get it. It's it's for your own protection, but I would just like an override somewhere in here that we can just go ahead and say, hey, look, I understand, and I want the ability to. Yeah, that's opening up a can of worms. All right, I think that answers some of the questions that I had recently. Let's see about um, about calling. Thank you very much for that comment. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful to you. Please give a like, subscribe for more. If you have anything else you'd like me to try out while you're waiting for your Narbox, let me know. And I heard that Narbox is producing some really great, fantastic tutorial videos that are almost ready. So you should check back in that and join the Narbox Facebook uh, support group, whatever it's called. You'll find it or I'll have a link down below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.